Good evening everyone, welcome to my corner of fun, where today I'm going to try and be a little bit topical. Yes, Wimbledon's on, so what better time is there to look at a tennis simulator? Specifically, this one, which I picked up for $10 off of eBay. TV Virtual Tennis Digital Interactive, and it's got some of the most creepiest anime characters that I've ever seen on a game. We've got some kid here whose eyes are about a kilometre apart. A woman with a... I'm not sure what sort of face how to describe that, and a very scary bloke who I think actually has the same sort of face as the woman. Maybe they're twins. I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look at the rest of the box then. As we can see, nice old CRT television. We can tell we're going to be playing with something futuristic here. No, let's not. Apparently this uh, counts as funny exercise, and that tennis ball looks really unhappy actually. Look at that. It's very depressed, greyed out. No one wants to bounce with him anymore. And, oh, here we go, this is the uh, proper name, the 16-bit microprocessor platform digital interactive tennis TV game. Damn it, I should have gone with that as my title. Hold on, let's have the titles again. Yeah, much better. Anyway, let's have a look at the back of the box now, where the anime characters are gone, and instead it's this blue guy. I'm pretty sure that must be the uh, what the blue man group looks like when they parachute. Anyway, let's see. Try uh, Select an opponent and try to beat him. I guess that you do that with every game. Brilliant. Infrared sensor. Yay. And, well, who needs a third point anyway? CRT television again. Um, doesn't have 3D technology, sadly. In fact, it's 16-bit, so it's similar to a Mega Drive or SNES game. Go down here. You have three different types of courts. You've got a natural grass, you got a hard artificial grass, and you got clay. I've played through all three, and I can't really tell the difference. Let's have a look over here, and we have the warnings of particular interest is this one here. When your eyes feel tired or dry, or anything abnormal arises, stop playing the game and call a physician. Anything abnormal arising, like... or a functioning game filler. Anyway, there's a few more sort of English things there on the box, plus a nice comforting anime girl, which is a refreshing change of pace from these spawns of Satan that grace the front of it. It also comes with a manual, and when I say manual, I mean a sheet of cheap A4 paper with stuff printed on it. I'll scan it in and put it up onto the Facebook if you want to go through it, but my favorite quote here, if you use a TV, video recorder, or air conditioner infrared remote, your game may go out of control and kill everybody. All right, let's have a look at the console. And as if by magic it's appeared. Here's the console bit of it. This bit sits down just in front of your television set. It's got up, down, left and right just for selecting your on switch. I've taken the power cord out, there's a light there. And a yes button and a no button. It's not a plus, it's actually supposed to be a cross. Mm, the Japanese, yes and no. Four AA batteries power this, or a power cord, which this comes with, so bonus points for that. Also, AV out. And here is your tennis racket. It feels of a much sturdier plastic than most of the uh, Wiimote racket shells that you can pick up nowadays, which I always found to be a real sort of waste of money, because it didn't, you know, help with the game in any way. It's got an infrared sensor built in, which is how the game detects your movements. There's no accelerometer or anything like that. And it's powered by two AAA batteries, which were incredibly difficult to remove, because it's just probably a one millimeter too small, I guess, to uh, safely house the AAA batteries lengthways. And yeah, it was a real pain to remove. Also, bloody Phillips head screwdriver needed to get into it, which or which I always find annoying. Anyway, there we are. It feels rather... Wait, let's see if you can listen to that. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear that at home, but yeah, it doesn't feel that strong. Anyway, let's see how this performs when played on a proper television.
Good evening, wherever you're watching around the world, and thanks for your company as we bring you tonight's virtual tennis final between Stewie the Australian and the Englishman known only as Houston. We're just about uh, ready to bring out the finalists here at Melbourne's court. The court's floating away, which means that the combatants must be ready to take the field. Stewie will serve in this final set. Incidentally, today's match will be filmed entirely on crotch cam, which is sticking out of Stewie's fly as we speak. And that's a bad mistake from the Australian as Houston takes the early lead here in this final set. As you can hear, the crowd have gone dead quiet. The tension is incredible here in Melbourne. You'll also notice the rallying. Stewie is so quick that this game has become similar to shuttlecock rather than tennis. Oh, and Houston misses a real sitter. Stewie claws back. It's 15 all. Just a reminder, coming up immediately after this game, the Brisbane Broncos will be taking on the Brisbane Broncos in what is sure to be a high-rating match. Oh, and there's another mistake from Houston. Stewie takes the lead. Oh, and that was as easy as you like. The Australian has now taken a commanding lead here and could claim the first game here. And there it is. Brilliant shot there from the Australian. He takes the first game. The Englishman is very unhappy about that and the crowd is going over the moon. Let's go down to the sidelines for a comment. Thank you, Sandy. And that's where we'll leave the action for today and wrap up this review. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by it. I mean, it works pretty well. It didn't miss any stroke that I played, although it doesn't tell the difference between a backhand stroke and a non-backhand stroke. I'm not really good with uh, tennis, so I don't know any of the terms. So yeah, the infrared sensor was fine. Um, the accelerometer would have been better, although it would have made it far more expensive. Mm. And the fact that it came with a power cord, so you didn't have to put another four AA batteries into this, uh, gives it a couple of bonus points. However, you can't help but feel that Wii Tennis on the uh, Wii Sports game that comes bundled with every Wii known to mankind is still a far superior version. Um, yeah, I'd recommend this as maybe a birthday gift for one of the younger kids who's really into tennis. They'll probably get some enjoyment out of it. And, oh, maybe you'll even get $10 worth of enjoyment if you're drunk one night with a few mates. I don't know. So, yeah, there you go. If you want one, go on to eBay, purchase one. If you don't, just don't buy one. I'm not going to hold anything against you if you don't. Now, I don't really have any other way to end this, so here is an image of a fence with a comedic sound effect.